Read and match the pictures with the paragraphs. Means of transport around the world. Double decker, London. The red double decker buses of London are world famous and one of the most common sights in London. They have two levels and some have an open top so that tourists can see the sights better. Over fifty years ago, the first double decker took passengers around London, and today they are still popular. They are a great way to get around London, and they are not very expensive. Gondola, Venice. When people think of Venice, they think of the canals and the long black boats called gondolas. Gondolas take people around the city. They were the most common means of transport in the 18th century. However, today mainly tourists ride in them. Riding in a gondola is an excellent way to see this beautiful city. Coco taxi, Cuba. A fun way to get around cities in Cuba, like Havana, is to take a coco taxi. They are funny-looking vehicles. They are black or yellow and round like a coconut with three wheels. They look funny, but coco taxis are cheap and can take you around the city very fast. Holiday fun. One, vocabulary. Match the pictures with the holiday activities. Then listen and check your answers. One, go sightseeing. Two, go horse riding. Three, go on a cruise. Four, explore a cave. Five, travel abroad. Six, go hiking. Seven, buy souvenirs. Two, read. A, look at the pictures. Where did Ali travel to? Listen to the dialogue and check. Then read it out in groups. Hi guys. Hey, you're back. How was your trip? It was a great experience. Did you visit the pyramids? Of course, and the Sphinx. We also walked around Cairo and went on a cruise down the Nile. Did you take pictures? Yeah, but I haven't got my camera with me, so I can't show you. So what else did you do there? I rode a camel. Well, I tried to ride a camel. No. What was it like? I was quite scared, to be honest. It's not like riding a horse. Camels are really tall. Did you fall off? Almost, but I managed to stay on. So. Did you go on a trip into the desert? No, it was really hot. Oops, I almost forgot. Here you go, guys. Souvenirs all the way from Egypt. A pyramid. Thanks. Um, Ali, my souvenir is broken. It hasn't got a nose. It's the Sphinx, Bill. It's supposed to be like that. I know. I'm only joking. Two, read. B. A police officer is interviewing three eyewitnesses to the accident. Listen, read, and check your answers. Then read the dialogues out in groups. Excuse me. What exactly happened here? I'm not sure. I live in that house over there. I just saw the boy. He was lying on the pavement and his knee was bleeding, so I called for an ambulance. Did a car hit the boy? I really don't know. Is he okay now? The boy? Yes, he just hurt his back and his knee. Excuse me. Did you see the accident? Yes. The boy was skateboarding on the pavement. 
Suddenly, I saw the car. Where were you? I was walking on the other side of the street. Was the driver going fast? Yes. But suddenly, the car swerved, changed direction, and almost hit the boy. So the car didn't hit the boy? No. He just fell down, and the car crashed into a tree. That's strange. Excuse me, can you explain what happened? Well, there was a cat, you see. Ah, a cat. Yes, it was in the middle of the street. I think the driver didn't want to hit it, so he... Now I understand. The driver swerved because of the cat and almost hit the boy. What boy? N never mind. Three. Speak and write. Dear Hamza, how are things? I hope you are well. I went on a family trip last Friday and I had a fantastic time. We went by bus to the city and visited the science museum. We arrived there at about 10.30. It took us two hours to get there because of the traffic, but we didn't mind. We had fun on the bus too. We spent all day at the museum and we saw old and new inventions and fossils of dinosaurs. We even watched a brilliant 3D documentary. My favourite place, though, was the experiment room. We could do our own experiments. It was so cool. I think it was the best family trip ever. Speak to you soon. Sammy. Sen. Listen to two friends talking and write T for true or F for false. Hi, Steve. Hey, did you hear what happened to me and John yesterday? No, what? Well, we were riding our bikes in Bluebell Forest. I was following John when suddenly he stopped. He wanted to show me some strange footprints. Why do you say strange? Well, it looked like some kind of animal had made them. What did you do? What else? We followed them. They went through some bushes and deep into the forest. It was still morning, but there were lots of trees, so it was quite dark. Then we heard a strange noise. Were you scared? I was a bit, but John wasn't. So what was it? A wild animal or something? Well, yes, but it wasn't very dangerous. What do you mean? It was a baby bear. But its leg was bleeding and it couldn't walk. Poor thing. What did you do with it? Nothing. But it needed some help, didn't it? Yes, but maybe its mother was nearby. I see. I didn't think of that. You don't want to meet an angry mother bear. Exactly. Sir John stayed with the bear and I went to get help. Actually, I went home because my house was close. My dad called the zoo and some people came to collect it. So where is it now? It's at the zoo. Let's go there and see it. What, today? Sure, why not? We can go after lunch. OK. Rhyming corner. Complete the rhyme with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. North, East, South, West. We decided to go on a long trip. The train is boring, so we went by ship. The weather was great and we all had fun. There was lots of time to relax in the sun. North, east, south, west. Exploring places is the best. My mum and dad spent all day hiking. My brother and I tried out horse riding. What an experience. It was really cool. I can't wait to tell all the kids at school. North, east, south, west. Exploring places is the best. Vocabulary. Look at the adjectives in the box. Which of them have a positive and which a negative meaning? Listen and check your answers. Positive. Interesting. Amazing. Cool. Fantastic. Exciting. Brilliant. Wonderful. Negative. Awful. 
weird, frightening, horrible. Two. Listen. A. Listen to Tim talking to his friend Adam on the phone about a trip to a cave and answer the questions. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm a bit tired. Why is that? I went on a trip to Lumsden Cave with my family today. Really? Yeah. I got up at six o'clock this morning. We left at half past six from my house. Why so early? Well, it was a long trip by car. It was quite exciting in the beginning, but soon we all got bored. What was the cave like? It was quite interesting, and the guide showed us some amazing things. I went to a cave with my parents once, but I didn't really enjoy it. We walked around, and it was quite slippery. Oh, we didn't walk. We went around in boats. So there was water in the cave. That's exciting. Did you swim? It was a very hot day. It was hot outside the cave, but it was cold in the cave, and the water was freezing. Anyway, they told us that it was dangerous to swim there. Too bad. Not very exciting. Actually, something exciting did happen. My dad fell in the water. No. Yeah, he tried to stand up in the boat and splash. What else did you do? Nothing much. We had our lunch and went home. Three hours in the car again. Awful. What time did you get home? About an hour ago. What? So late? It's nine o'clock. Now I see why you're so tired. Larry. A. Look at the means of transport below. Are they land, sea, or air transport? Listen and check your answers. What other means of transport do you know? Land, underground, motorbike, tram, van, sea, ferry, air, helicopter. B. Complete the sentences with the adjectives below. Then listen and check your answers. One, when something isn't cheap, it's expensive. Two, when something isn't slow, it's fast. Three, when lots of people like something, it's popular. Four. When there are lots of people in a place, it's crowded. Five. When something isn't safe, it's dangerous. Two. Read. A. Listen, read, and put the pictures in the correct order. Write one to four. My trip to Malaysia by Adam Storm. Last month I was in Malaysia and I wanted to try Malaysian food. The hotel receptionist told me about a popular restaurant near the Melaka River. I decided to go on foot and explore the city. I soon got tired and took the bus from a nearby bus station. There was a lot of traffic, so I got off and decided to take a taxi. When the taxi stopped, I couldn't see the restaurant. I didn't know what to do. Do you need help? A man asked me. I was so happy. He could speak English very well. I asked him for directions to the restaurant, and he said, "Oh, you're on the wrong side of the river. It's on the other side." So I took the ferry. I finally arrived at the restaurant. Guess what? It was closed.